This training will discuss the three types of processing that occur in the Perry Special Collections. Basic Processing, Value-Added Processing, Item-Level Processing. The following definitions describe processing in the Perry Special Collections. A collection is all of the materials from a single source, for example, the Jeffrey Adams papers. A series is a group of similar records that are arranged according to a filing system and that are related as a result of being created, received, or used in the same activity. For example, the personal papers of Jeffrey Adams may consist of photographs, correspondence with family members, missionary diaries, and school papers. Each of these intellectual groupings is a series. A subseries is a body of documents within a series readily distinguished from the whole by filing arrangement, type, form, or content. Building on the Jeffrey Adams example, we noted that one of the series was correspondence. The correspondence could be logically broken down into correspondence to his parents, his siblings, and his friends. Each subgrouping is a subseries. A file is a group of documents related by use or topic, typically housed in a folder, or a group of folders for a large file. Jeffrey Adams' correspondence from 2011 with his brother Frank could constitute a file. An item is something that can be distinguished from a group and that is complete in itself. The April 23, 2011 letter from Jeffrey Adams to his parents is one item even though the letter is six pages long. When a collection is received by special collections, it receives basic processing. The main purpose of basic processing is the identification or creation of collection level or series level arrangement. It rarely involves physically reorganizing or rehousing materials to make them usable. If you can identify a usable collection or series level arrangement, then you will describe it. Preserving the order established by the creator of the materials helps researchers better understand the creator. A usable order is one that researchers will be able to use to discover what they are looking for. If there is not a usable order, you will do the bare minimum to establish a usable order and then describe it. This typically involves identifying an appropriate series that researchers would then be able to use to locate pertinent materials. After materials have received basic processing, they are prioritized to receive value-added processing. The purpose of value-added processing is to allow varying depths of description within collections, and it is not meant to be uniformly applied across a collection. For example, a collection that has value-added processing applied to it could be comprised of four series, and two of those series might be processed to a series level, and the other two might be processed to a file level. Value-added processing aims to better meet researchers' needs by identifying which series should be further described. If the Missionary Diary series of the Jeffrey Adams papers is being heavily used by researchers, then it might benefit researchers to have the series broken into subseries, reflecting where Jeffrey served. It might also benefit researchers to describe the diaries in those subseries at the file level. Item-level processing is an extension of value-added processing and is the description of all materials in a collection at the item level. Materials that receive item-level processing are determined by the Perry Special Collections Board of Curators. Photograph collections typically receive item-level processing. It is difficult for researchers to know which photographs will be useful to their research if the photographs have not been described individually. If you have any questions, please consult your curator.